Our political expert right now, Jim Clark, joining us uh, to talk about a very interesting race. Stephanie Murphy takes the win against a longtime Republican and a very well-known guy, John Micah. 22 years he's served. Are you surprised by this? I am extremely surprised. John Micah, as you say, 22 years. Uh, one of the top Republicans, a committee chairman going down to defeat, that almost never happens. Yeah. And he was responsible for bringing so much money into Orange County, the money for Sunrail, the money for uh, the I-4 expansion. Uh, and Stephanie, uh, uh, unknown to the voters just six months ago, uh, both political parties poured a lot of money into this, but I am sure that John Micah outspent her. Uh, the problem was in redistricting, he went from one of the safest districts for Republicans into a competitive district. Mm -hmm. And suddenly he had to campaign. You had not seen him running all these ads in the past, but he had a tough race. And I imagine uh, he and his followers are shocked tonight. Sure. And you know, you were, we were talking earlier and one of his campaign uh, emblems was he was running on I-4, what's happening with I-4, and that likely might not have been, been the best thing uh, to say to, to voters, that <laughs> I'm responsible for what's happening on <laughs> I-4 right yeah, now. Yeah, you're absolutely right. He kept telling people that, uh, that he had made I-4 happen, and right now, I think there are a lot of voters who wish it hadn't happened. Yeah. There had to be uh, Democrats smelling some blood in the water here because we have been running stories recently about the millions of dollars. We've heard the number four million poured into Stephanie Murphy's campaign. So this can't be too big of a surprise for the Democrats who were just plunging money into this race. They were. Uh, but everybody, I think, dismissed uh, Stephanie because nobody had ever heard of her. The other big Democratic win, Val Demings, had been around for years. Yeah. Everybody had heard of her, and people had voted for her in other elections. And uh, this candidate, uh, Rollins Co College professor, nobody had ever heard of. Uh, yeah. they, they had to kind of go looking for a candidate. And you, you would see the ads, and one of the things they tried to do, the, the MICA camp tried to tie Stephanie Murphy to Nancy Pelosi to Old Washington, saying that that's not what they need. But really, MICA had been there for 22 years. So you really had uh, the, uh, Stephanie Murphy being backed by someone who's been in Washington for a long time, as opposed to running against someone who's been in Washington for a long time. You're absolutely right. And tonight, there are a lot of Democrats in Orange County wishing they had taken the plunge. Uh, a number of top names passed on that race, thinking that John Micah couldn't possibly be beaten. Is that the big surprise for you so far in election night here? I think uh, uh, the Amendment 1, the solar, going down as badly as it uh, has. Uh, as you know, it needed 60 percent of the yeah. vote. Uh, uh, 51 just, was the last we 51 saw. 51 was the last number I saw. And uh, remember, they were outspent 10, 15 to 1 mm -hmm. uh, by the solar industry. And uh, just two, three months ago, 81% of the people said they were for yeah. it. And, and a lot of people said that was a wolf in sheep's clothing. It said one thing, but it was actually doing another. Right. The great writer Carl Hyacin called it the, the wolf in sheep's clothing. And it's just amazing, though, that you were able to turn around basically a couple million votes, Yeah, uh, people who supported it just a couple of, uh, of months ago. I think the other one that surprises me is uh, the margin is Ted Edwards, the Orange County commissioner yeah. who is going down to defeat. Uh, he had voted for the Lake Pickett expansion. There was a lot of controversy yes. about mm -hmm. that. A lot of people were unhappy. George Soros, the billionaire, uh, poured $400,000 in there to defeat Edwards. And this is the first time since uh, 2000 that an Orange County commissioner has lost uh, a re-election race. It just doesn't happen. Uh, sure. and that development out there in East Orange County turned out to be his undoing, yeah, right? Because there were as soon as that came through, a lot of people just put a big red X on Ted Edwards. That's exactly right. And I'm not sure he knew how much it was going to hurt him. What's going to be interesting now is what happens with growth in Orange County. Is this going to send a signal 
to the other yeah. commissioners. Are they going to be... Be careful. Yep, be <laughs> careful. Exactly right. Yeah, okay. So you're saying the sun has definitely set on solar. You know, we, we had <laughs> we, we had the amendment, too, that tried to pass the first time and, and then didn't. Do you think solar will come back around again? No, because the more people found out about yeah. it, the less they, the less they wanted it. Yeah. So I think the, uh, the industry overplayed its hand and... Uh, uh, you know, it was led by Dick Batchelor here in Orlando, yeah. who was the chairman of it, who's very politically savvy. So I'm sure he's disappointed tonight. Speaking of Amendment 2, you know, two years ago, it's all we were talking about in that election. It, we were talking about it a ton. Ads were everywhere. Uh, at this point, no one was saying much about it. And it wins in a landslide, 71%. Are you surprised? Was it the tweaks they made in the actual amendment that made it easier for people to swallow? I don't think it was the tweaks in the wording, per se. I think it was how they ran their campaign. If you remember correctly, two years ago, it ended up being a battle between uh, John Morgan, the attorney, and, sure. uh, and Deborah Grady Washington. Judd. Yeah. And, well, Grady Judd in Polk County, but uh, 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 Deborah Washington Chokes yeah, down in uh, South mm -hmm. Florida. Mm -hmm. And it just became about personalities. The This time... You didn't hear any of that noise. It was just about the amendment, and they stressed the medical need. Yeah, don't you think people just became more educated on it and, and figured out what it actually was and what it would actually do for a lot of I people? I think so, and, and, you know, it is kind of funny. The more people were, learned about Amendment 2, the more they favored it. <laughs> the more they learned about Amendment 1, the, the less, less they yeah. wanted and it. So it pays off to do your homework. Yeah. Yeah. And wasn't he targeting more elder? One thing that I remember him saying once it went down with 58% of the vote two years ago is he said, I was targeting the wrong people. We saw him at clubs and bars trying to get young people out to vote. And this time around, it seemed like he targeted more senior citizens, the people who actually do go to the polls. Oh, I think you're absolutely right. I think you're 100% right. And, uh, you know, that uh, 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 film of him, uh, at the club yes. in Lakeland is still on YouTube, <laughs> and he must still be embarrassed by that. That is something he, it'll take a while for him to live yeah. that one down. Yeah. Jim Clark, thank you so much. We thank appreciate you. Many uh, headlines sticking. coming out of this one tonight. Yeah, a lot of big, yeah. interesting stuff going on. Yeah, I don't know what you'd lead with. Uh. <laughs> I don't either. <laughs> we don't have to decide that It's on that the producers. Right <laughs> yeah, exactly. All right. <laughs> thank you, thank Jim. You, Jim.